Yo, all right, we've got proper lighting and stuff today. I have some books to uh, haul for you guys. Oh, I've got my hand as well, it's painful. Um, these are all French, so wish me luck with that. I'm just going to move my sign across so you lads can see it. There we go. No point having the sign if nobody can see it, all right? Oh, fuck me, Dad. Ah. So basi basically, I bought this job lot of French books and DVDs on eBay. There was a ton of them, right? So I just, yeah. We got uh, Wataru, Wataru, Wataru Murayama, uh, Desert Coral number two. Doesn't really matter that I don't know the story because I'm basically reading it to try and pick up some dialogue and words and stuff. We have Maison Defi by uh, Pa Asara Tule. Oh no, that's not the author name. But Lang Long Osha. I don't think we have an author name on this. Oh, this is from Belgium as well. Very cool. French Belgium. Uh, here we have uh, Mustache à Papa by uh, Kimberly Ainsworth and Daniel Rood. Very cute. Here we have uh, Adieu Maduri by Kuta Minami. This is going to be some mad stuff because I'm going to be reading a French translation of Japanese manga or whatever. Here we have Les Animaux Fantastiques, Un Film Magique by Gallimard Jeunesse. I don't know whether I will read this or not because I haven't seen the movie, so there doesn't seem to be much point. Here we have De la Neige pour Noël, uh, uh, Un Beau Livre, a beautiful book. Uh, I don't know who it's by. Oh, it's an activity book. Oh, that's cute. Okay, me... Might do this with Susie then. And it's from 2009 as well. Here we have uh, Princess Astro, Premier Sortie dans l'espace by Benoit Broya and Maria Caripidou. And uh, yeah, Premier Sortie dans l'espace, like first time in space, first trip to space. Here we have uh, Le Scriptophone Mon Cahier pour Jongler avec les mots. So that's what? The textbook for learning words I guess. Well for juggling words, it is for ju juggling words. That's quite cool, so two activity books, that's a different way of learning for me. Le Hobbit, La Desolation de Smog, Le Livre du Film, so it's the book of the film. Wow, cool, okay, I can read that one, that'll be fun. Tamara to de Passe, uh, by Dupuis. Oh, by Daras and Zidru. Some of these are, are, are a sealed look, so this is uh, Nicola Vial, text de Marion Pauli, Le Chat Star, sorry, Le Chat Star, so that's uh, the cat star, I guess. And Charlotte Ferro, An An Loton, A Year, yeah, so lots of French stuff. And then also they sent me a load of DVDs, but I don't really do DVDs, so I'm not going to bother hauling those. Uh, I do have a friend uh, with children who, she's French, I don't know, I think her partner isn't, I don't know where her partner's from. Uh, I met him though, nice chap, but um, yeah, she, she uh, volunteers at the art centre and stuff. And because her kids have got a French mum, I think they're learning French. So I figure they can have them. And then I'll sell the spares. It's my kind of fanta. Hi right, guys, Dane here. And today we have a very special haul because I bought a box of 50 plus books on eBay. It came to about 15 pounds. Uh, so I guess like $20. And we have this big old box full of books here. Uh, I have a biggie here. He's come to help as well, haven't you, Bix? Um, just because I figure you guys are probably most interested in these, um, I've already been through this. Me and Susie went through it. So we both picked out some books. I'm going to show you what we've got here. So I picked out the ones I'm going to read. We have here Mill Girl, The Diary of Eliza Helstead, Manchester 1842 to 1843. Um, it's like a, I guess a scholastic book thing. It just looks quite interesting. I like kind of the historical kind of stuff as well. Um, but also it's written by Sue Reed, which is what Susie's birth name was. So yeah. Um, then I've got uh, Dangerous Days on the Victorian Railways by Terry Deary, creator of Horrible Histories. I like Horrible Histories again. I like history stuff, so that should be interesting. I have The Roving Mind by Isaac Asimov, a panoramic view of fringe science technology in the science society of the future. Which will be interesting because when was this printed? 83 so it'll be interesting to see what he thought the society of the future would be 
Uh, and then the suspicions of Mr. Witcher or the murder at Roadhill House, uh, Kate Summerscale. I just know it was made into quite a well-known movie, so I thought I'd give that a read. So those are the ones that I'm going to read from this. Note to self, I sh I'll also put this in my monthly haul. So if you're watching this in my monthly haul, I'll also link below to the video I'm filming this for, which is for this special one-off book box haul. Yo, 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 your boat gently down the stream. Oh, I got a big package today. I'm trying to think of a rhyme for stream. <laughs> I am living the dream. Uh, I think I know what these are. And that actually might have been why I was rhyming, why I was freestyle rapping in it sick, kid. Yo, my name's Slim Dizzle and I got a massive package. If I'm not online on Facebook, then I'll be right backage. I can't remember what I paid, about 15 quid for these, but a lot of these are like, people quite enjoy them, because especially these ones are quite old ones. So, we've got the Dr. Seuss storybook. That's pretty sick, mate. I like that, big one. We have Dr. Seuss, Fox in Socks, a tongue twister for super children. We have the Cat in the Hat, I've read that one. The Cat in the Hat comes back. I don't know if I've read that one or not. Green Eggs and Ham, I don't know if I've read that one or not. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, don't know if I've read that one or not. The Lorax, pretty sure I haven't read it. And Dr. Seuss's Sleep Book. So I'm pretty excited to have all those. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you as well, I got from the book exchange at Tesco in the town centre. And that is a dolphin song by Lauren St. John. Um, she was one of the first authors I ever interviewed for my book blog, socialbookshelves.com, and so I've slowly been reading my way through her books, because um, I quite, I, I quite like um, the, what, like, what she does, I think she's pretty cool, she um, kind of has a pretty good message for, like, conservation and stuff like that. Hello, people of YouTube, it is a haul time, and we've got some stories behind the hauls. So first off, I've got A Decent Ride by Irvin Welsh. Uh, Irvin Welsh is one of my authors, so I just want to read all of his work. Uh, I quite like this as well, because it looks kind of intimidating until you see the font size is actually massive. So this shouldn't actually take too long to read. Uh, I really do, as I say, enjoy Irvin Welsh. And this was an edition, I got it from like Pound Stretcher. So I think I paid like £1.50 for it or something. So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, Susie gave me some books because she's been having a bit of a clear out and so she gave these to me so that I can put them on my eBay store and or read them if I want to. So here we have, these go together actually, so I'll show you this one. Uh, Amanda Palmer, The Art of Asking. Uh, I probably won't read that one just because I'm not a particular Amanda Palmer fan. I don't have anything against her, I'm just not particularly interested. Uh, this is Beauty, a retelling of the story of Beauty and the Beast by Robin McKinley. We all know how I feel about retellings. <laughs> This is Anne of Green Gables by Ellen M uh, Montgomery, and I might read this one. We I'm gonna see. All right, these are the three that go together. So we have Dante Alighieri, uh, The Divine Comedy, Volume One, Inferno, Divine Comedy, Volume Two, Purgatory, and uh, Volume Three, Paradise. So, um, yeah, I've already read all these, and I've got my own copies. Um, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I was saying I should read this, but having seen how long it is now, I don't know if I can be bothered. At least not at the present time. Maybe later in a nicer edition. Here we have To Hold the Bridge by Ga uh, Garth Nix. Here we have one I am definitely going to read. This is Terry Pratchett, The Wit and Wisdom of Discworld. Um, and part of the reason I wanted to read this is just on my list to read all of Terry Pratchett's books. Having said that, it is just a load of excerpts, so might be a bedtime book, we'll see. Uh, and here we have Forgotten English, a merry guide to antiquated words, packed with history, fun facts, literary excerpts, and charming drawings by Geoffrey K. Kirk. Um, I'm not going to read it just because I've read a lot of books like this, but pretty cool. So that's what I've got to update you on. Alright, anyway, those are all the books that I hauled in November, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.